Well, these increasingly versatile ways of enjoying retirement comes as China faces a serious population aging problem. That reality poses challenges, but also provides opportunities for a variety of industries. And my colleague Zhong Shi joins me there in the studio. Well, Zhong Shi, good evening. Uh, good evening to you. Tell us more about China's aging population and what does it mean for this country? Well, Zhou Yue, experts say China has been an aging society since 2000, but the severity of the problem will only be felt further down the road. In 2014, the number of people 65 years old and above stood at 138 million, or about one-tenth of the entire population. But it's estimated it will grow to almost 13% in 2020. In 2050, one in four Chinese people will be 65 or above. What that essentially means is that there will be one retiree for every working person. Even with China's policy change allowing all couples to have a second child, experts believe China's aging problem won't be significantly eased until around 2060. However, the growing population of senior citizens means that their consumption capabilities will grow from 4 trillion yuan in 2014 to 106 trillion yuan in 2050. This growth potential has been recognized by economists as the largest in the world and could even be a driving force behind the Chinese economy. As much as 200 billion yuan worth of capital has flowed into industries which service senior citizens who have more money now and with a positive perspective on their retirement years, they are looking to spend it. So, yeah. Obviously, aging problem will put a strain on those working population and the Chinese society as a whole. But on the other hand, it might also bring some business opportunities to those smart investors. But what, ac what areas and sectors might be the beneficiary? So that's why skewed businessmen are now eyeing those opportunities and trying to cash in. Let me start with what's been dubbed retirement real estate. Unlike some developed countries, the majority of China's retirees live out their old age at home instead of in senior citizen communities or nursing homes. It's not uncommon for them to rent or buy a place in a warmer region of the country or simply closer to where their children work and live. Some of China's biggest real estate developers are coming up with products to cater to their needs, including residential neighborhoods that are both for lease and sale and to have built-in health care and treatment centers. Then there's medicine and physiology. Health authorities say as many as 40 million senior citizens have lost some part of their physical ability. Senior citizens purchase more than 50 percent of medicines. Also, a change of attitude and values means that today's retirees are a lot more active in their old age. Travel for leisure is on the rise. It's estimated that travel industry dedicated to senior citizens will be worth 1.6 trillion yuan in 2030.